This makeover is mostly complete and complete enough that I want to give you guys a tour. So let's start out. First thing, I always have this piece of coral that we got on vacation. I don't even remember where, but I always pretty much have that keeping the door open because the door sort of flies open constantly. Um, I've got this sitting area here with this chair actually has a clip-on desk that you can put on either arm. There's little holes here. And um, that kind of opens up this space to have more than one person work, which is really nice. We're not going to go in the closet, you guys, because that's where everything junky is. I've got, it's a pretty decent sized closet, and I've got um, a wireless printer, a bookshelf with office supplies like paper and uh, pencils and a bunch of kind of other uh, beauty counter samples and some miscellaneous paperwork. I'm also thinking of getting some gold plated knobs for the closet and the light covers. I just haven't had a chance to do it yet. This I love. I love sitting at my desk and seeing this, especially if I feel, um, you know, tired or unmotivated or whatever. One of those phrases catches me and really is just inspiring. There's Fergie, always laying there, always with me. <sighs> So this is my new desk. Um, this is from Autonomous and so is the chair. And I'm gonna show you what's special about the desk and the chair in a minute. All right, so let's talk about the desk. So first of all, the desk um, is a sit to stand desk and the motor is actually in those legs. And the desk can hold hundreds of pounds of weight. So when you press the, the motorized button to make it stand, nothing moves. Like you can have a burning hot full cup of coffee water, whatever you want, and it's totally safe, and it's pretty amazing. So um, when you get sick of sitting, you just press a button and go to standing, and you preset your height for sitting and standing, so it's even easier. Um, and then the white legs and the walnut top are all custom, so you can make it how you want it. If you want black on black, white on white, bamboo on gray, there's all different options. So let me show you how it works. So this also, this cutout is also an option. I love the cutout because I love sitting forward when I'm typing and it makes it really easy for me. So let's have my accessories here. Um, it's where I keep all my recipes. And matcha, of course. My favorite beauty counter hand cream. Always have that. So here is the um, control for the motor. And number one is my um, seated position, which is where it's at right now, 31.4 inches. I'm only 5'4", so that's, um, you know, appropriate. And then when you get sick of sitting, you just press your, your standing. So I'll show you what, what that looks like. We're going to get up and get out of the way. See it rising? How cool is that? So now it's at standing, so you can stand and work until you feel ready to sit again. Um, and then I'm going to take you guys underneath and show you what's going on there. So just to give you a sense of scale, um, you see that there's the chair and now the chair looks really low because the desk is at standing position for my height. The one cord that is coming down is that one that's plugged into the wall. I haven't found a solution for that yet, but all of the other cords, when it's standing like this, you can see some of them, but for the most part, you can't see them. They're all tucked under. And so this version of the desk comes with there's the motor, and then there's right there a Bluetooth speaker that you could take phone calls. I mostly use it for music. And then there's um, a USB charging port there. So you know how you charge my phone through that. My husband mounted a power surge, and so basically we have all of the cords like tucked underneath like this so that the only cord you see is that one. Hi, girl. <laughs> um, and then you can also see I have this bag hanging here that's actually expensive camera equipment and there's two hooks that you can put on the side of the desk and that gives you a sense of how strong and sturdy this thing is because it goes up and down with the camera equipment with the hot matcha with all of these things and it's just like smooth as anything okay so while I have the desk up I'm gonna show you what is special about this chair um, this chair is all about the ergonomics and it is super comfortable, especially for your back. Um, one of the things that makes it so comfortable is this is a movable lower back support. So depending on how tall you are, let's see if I can do it with one hand. There we go. Um, you can just move it up and down so that it, it hits exactly where you need it in your lower back. It's 
really comfortable. And then the same thing with the headrest. It's really molded to fit your neck and you can just, <laughs> I'm not left-handed you guys. Um, just get it to your height that you need it. And the armrests also move this way, this way, forward, and then really, really easy up and down, depending on your height. Then the, obviously the back of the chair does tilt and I usually keep it um, straight just because it feels better for my back. And you can move the height of the chair with one lever as well. So it's super duper comfortable, which I need to be comfortable when I'm writing and like sitting for a while. All right, so let's take this desk back down to sitting. So, oops, I pressed the wrong one. There we go. And I'll show you the rest of the stuff in the office. So I've got um, some cookbooks. I have some more cookbooks upstairs in the kitchen, but I have really tried to downsize my cookbook collection with the move this past summer. And I do have them organized by color. <laughs> um, I gave away like six shelves of books because I just have too many and I don't use that many of them. So, so I just, I have uh, cookbooks now that I feel like I'm using and referencing and, and really like reading. And um, I've got some wedding pictures there. I usually do have pictures of my kids in the office, but I took them down because I don't share them on social media. So it's just me and my husband. <laughs> um, and then I started using an essential oil diffuser recently, and I absolutely love it in our bedroom and in the office. And I would love one in every room in the house. We're just not there yet. I just started getting into essential oils. So right now I've got a little bit of lavender and then mostly stress away um, going. It's really, um, it really smells great and it makes me feel more focused. And then I've got um, these two things. This is a quarterly wall calendar and I have erased it because I have to set up the next quarter. And I use it to keep track of all my different brand relationships and deliverables that are due. And then that is a vision board, which we sort of take away and add to on an ongoing basis, which is really cool. I love this. I love seeing that right behind me. And that's pretty much it. There's, you know, some other kind of like, you know, storage and organization behind this door, but nothing that I feel like is significant enough to look at. I think the main really cool thing is, is making this a healthier space with the essential oil diffuser, with um, some plants, with the desk that goes from sitting to standing. It just makes such a huge difference in the quality of my work, my focus, and how I feel after working for a while. So that's it. If you want to know where I got anything, I'm going to write a whole post about it and you can look for all the links in the post and ask me any questions you want. Okay. Bye guys.